The spokesman has confirmed the location of a VIP valuable to the alien cause moving in this area, and he's asked that we use this opportunity to neutralize the operative. Secure the surrounding area, and remove all enemy security forces guarding the target. Bring him in alive if possible, dead if necessary. Greetings, hello, welcome back to more COVID infiltration and a VIP elimination, neutralization, kill, I don't know. I mean, Bradford keeps telling about uh, bring him in alive, but so far, nobody told me an incentive to, to do that. But well, I, I guess, I guess the only way to get a lead on the facility is to take them alive. Uh, mm -hmm, uh, okay, um, th there's the incentive. Thanks, thanks for the swift response there. Uh, okay, <sighs> would have been nice to know that earlier, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we got some high ground. We got a VIP. I'm still, I'm still a little bit of, maybe I should have done the retaliation first and hopefully not have the chosen on the retaliation and then have just over infiltrate this even longer. But yeah, we also hope to get some people here. Confirmed. I'm not tired on this mission, so we have them on the retail. There's also a little surprise waiting in the barracks, um, which we're going to talk about later. Sweet. Really, you know, come over here. I want to look into the building. Yeah, nothing in there. Let's get, let's get our schnipper. Drop. And our ripper. Oh yeah, we have parkour now. We can, we can just walk up the wall here instead of taking the pipe that's just around the corner. Man, I missed that vulture. It's the, I mean, it's kind of useless in that situation, well, pointless, but it's still one of my favorite things to do. Uh, who's that? Sectoid, Hunter, and two other guys. Hmm. I mean, so one of the ideas I have here for this mission is to use Daddy Home aggressively at the start, you know, get some kills, lose, lose shadow, reconceal. Do not, not just sit in shadow the whole time, too afraid to lose my concealment. Like old times. Assuming I can't, I can't throw it all the way over there. This door opens, so you just came in here. So either gonna go stay in this room, come out this door, or go up top. So I think I'm just gonna wait here. If they come out the room, well, they might also walk down the stairs. Or my, they might also just stand still and look at me funny. It's my, yeah. We're not moving. You might be in a bad position, but honestly, if we claim all this, our claimer does 8 damage now. And we destroy the floor, drop them to the ground, everything here should just die from Claymore plus shot. Move it up, move it up. So we're just gonna chill here. And I think I'm gonna gotta bring you over also. Moving out. Basically, I have my my fighting squad here, my scout here, and my sniper over here. Need to get to the evac there. There's one hacky tower in there. Let me check later on. Oh, we have one right at the evac. So if there's any bonus that we can get via hacking, we can check it at the end of the mission. Oh, hi. Oh, 
kind of running a little bit low on time, but I'm feeling like getting excited for an excessive claymore. Ah, open that door. I, I don't think I can get the claymore in there, and I can't can't explode it if I can't see it. Right? Even if I can magically throw it through the wall here somehow, then I couldn't explode it. Okay, we'll give it one more turn. You don't mess with the bourbon cowboy. Give it one more turn. Well, disappointing hex. So back the road here. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. The rare, the dramatic, the three-sided cover. Legends told of this spot. We got it. We got three. What? 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 Four three-sided cover positions. Let's do it. And you heard about this in my dreams. Alright, you come here. You stay there. Moving to Overwatch. Who this? Man. Roger, I got my eyes on. Big dog is off the leash. Oh, you're coming up top? Oh, you're coming up top top. Tippy top. Good news is I can probably yip 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 do that. Oh, and I can even do this. I'm not sure if that breaks concealment of anyone else. We it does not. That's a good start to the mission, I'd say. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can figure out... Figure out where the other guys are. Was that a snake with the mute on? I said another group. And why, why did the snake not stay revealed here from the combat scanner? Yeah, it's a never, never group. All right, all right, all right. Overwatch. Affirmative. Of uh, off the beaten path. Oh, that is great, though. Oh no, stay stay on the high ground. Oh, it's a rocket here. For some reason, I thought the, uh, my mind saw a purifier, and I'm like, yeah, I can blow him up. And uh... anyway, um. Does the shot on the claymore count as my first shot that doesn't reveal me? Or do I, do I get another chance here? Yeah. Alright, sell me. No. Will these guys take damage from falling? Also, do we have some, some weird line of sight through the building? Lots of questions, no answers. Okay. Um.
trying to find the spot where I maybe don't kill a civilian. Like, not that I'm too concerned. I hit it. Does it give line of sight to that other group? It does not, okay. So close, no line of sight on the snake. Back here I would have it. I could come down here and pistol. What do you have? You have these two. Well, we definitely have a good shot here on the snake. You don't have to tell me twice. Just don't sit right with me. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's of course. Dodge your side. Seems reasonable. What's this anyway? Beast chair scan protocol. Be like we need to kill the Viper. Uh, let's do a teamwork here. Yeah. I, I mean, I also feel like we should kill the rocket uh, the Rocketeer, but doesn't look like I have that option right now. Yeah, increase that again. Yeah, no, I can't believe it either. <laughs> um, sure, Let's come in the there. On the road. Well, it's something. You're just lucky they don't let me use my hands. Right. Doing a hands off approach here. Yeah? Okay, Mr. Rocketeer, you're smartest. You're, you're injured. You're the last one in your port. Come on, join join the others. Don't do any offensive action. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Love your work. Thinking I can maybe across the balcony through this window or do some shenanigans here. Alternatively, no. Rappel here and then through the window. That's grenades, but... That doesn't look promising, honestly. No, there's, there's a spot where I can hit the mutant. Okay, so I don't need to move, so I can use my first action for the yoink. Find that sweet spot again. Uh,
You can get a flank on that Muton here. Are you gonna be able to do 10 damage? Probably not. You can get a shot on the snake. I think we were just gonna try to try your shot on the snake first with the pistol. By the way, you flanked the Muton. So Muton is um, fairly high priority. But I think we've also given up the concealment here. All right. Okay. Dumbass, yo. yo, indeed. So I think the most reliable way to damage that guy now is probably to grenade. Full yeah. Let's grenade him. Uh, does three damage. Does two damage from the fall, I think. Then we can hopefully just move somewhere where we flank him from high ground with daddy home and not roll minimum damage. You should be right here. Please please land aside. Don't be don't be a dick to me here. Raiders roll. Yeah about that. Ooh, but not revealed. Oh, but revealed. And there's an officer and some other dude. Purifier. Alright, one crisis at a time. Should not trigger the overwatch since we're just, you know, popping down here. Not in that. Okay. Bunch of enemies halfway across the map. I think we're gonna hide here behind various walls out of line of sight. Much concerned about the mission timer. But hey, if we once we kill these guys, I'm percent certain, but fairly certain, most enemies should be dead. Yeah, so I really would like you to be somewhere where you can maybe snipe. Go here, but far enough away from the officer. What are you doing? So it comes in. That must have been a dare. Dare shots, for sure. One more grenade. I hope I don't need it for these guys. Got a hundred percent shot on this guy. Cool. I like. I like. I like raising my hundreds. I didn't I didn't actually check for the grace chance to be fair. Can't just can't just say 100% and not look at the grace. It's like 
if I ignore half the the numbers, then I have a hundred percent chance to hit. This works. Okay, can we? What's the story? So we don't have time. Yeah. For that guy in particular. Well, how about that? Good. No windows here. We've kind of been here in this area, so I'm, I'm gonna move up a little bit. I wanna, I wanna scan near the actual near the evac position, so, you're gonna bark all day? and like behind the building, basically, because that's um, where usually there's another group guarding the guarding the evac. Something like this. Ooh, okay. There's no window here though. So we can go move in on the VIP, I think. Uh, somehow. There. Okay. Got it. Moving. Don't have time. Five turn timer. Um, that is not a lot of time here. Ricky getting a good, um, a good anything really. Walk. With my sniper. It's also the problem once you uh, knock out the VIP, um, reinforcements come in. So we kill that last group first, I guess. You don't have to tell me twice. Move a little bit faster than Shadow. Let's uh, stay here. There in a jiffy. Rolling out. Couldn't quite make out what the screw was though. I think I mostly saw like no armor. Like troopers or something. We can get behind the building. We can. Yeah, aggressive scouting here. Guys, sorry they showed up. What is that? Trooper, hunter, officer. Okay. Running gun is still on cooldown. And grapple them. You grapple from the inside up top? Alright, alright, alright. Grapple, uh, fall down behind them, you know, I'm kinda, kinda okay with that. You're on cargo duty. We got some big plans for next turn. Knock out the VIP, throw a grenade on these guys, finish them up, off with you, and with you grappling up top, and with Daddy Home taking a shot. And then 
a sniper carries the VIP out. We are leaving next turn before reinforcements come. Got it covered. Now we just need to play ball. You didn't play ball. Kinda played ball. A little bit. I think the knockout of the VIP costs an action, so maybe I don't actually want to use it with, with Wilmo. Did we get did we get a kill? Did we get the four damage on the trooper there? Oh, what a treat. Don't get the flank on you though. Yeah, and you need need to grapple here and move next. Okay, so you don't have the extra action to do this. Let's see, you can get a flank. Officer has a fantastic position. Gotta give him that. Credit where credit is due. Locked up. Grapple out. Whatever you say. You know that was good. Root doesn't see anyone. I wish we had a um, take an overwatch shot and break shadow command or something like that. That would be the right pick right about now. We just let's go. Just taking a fifty-five and a sixty-six. It's uh, 111. Oh, it's uh, 56. Well, you know, no, that's 111 together. So it should be basically guaranteed. We should attack here. Well, here's the thing. I could come here and give him a pistol shot. But my pistol does 3 to 4 damage. Decisions, decisions. <clears throat> Standing out in the open if I do it. Let me make this easy on you. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. I don't usually bring back live ones. Yeah, should be able to get out next turn, yeah? Alright, Mr. Hunter. Please be gentle. I don't think you have a flank on anyone here. Okay. Incoming fire! You don't want to do. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Ah, you don't have ammo left. Kinda of don't wanna like we shouldn't have anything that can come in on Overwatch and, and really ruin us so we can get out next turn. Oh, yeah. I just don't wanna leave the hunter alive. 
Because I'm fairly certain Wilmo can't make it out from his current spot. You just got freaking dominated, Knucklehead. All right, let's do this. Just in case, let's leave. I got a bullet with your name on it. Running. Got it. Moving. Leave you here on Overwatch, and you in the evac zone with ammo. What's the story? VIP secure and in position for evac. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Oh, I need to enter. Oh, why is why is nothing happening? Two drones in a trooper. Take some parting shots. You see that one? I'm running low on ammo. Nobody gets lucky twice, though. It's impossible. Yeah, he didn't get lucky twice. Everybody was showing up here, and you, you just raise all day long. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay. All right. That was, uh, that was good. MVP. Shake it, baby. This body's doing a good job. No injuries. No warlock showing up. And everything's uh, coming up XCOM. That's some, some Reaper style here. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Okay, looks like two people are not going to be tired here and can go on that retaliation. I wish we would have gotten a little bit more out of it. Okay. You're gonna get some demo drones. Trading center already. Uh, you're gonna get some, I guess, close encounters, close and personal. Two of course, a VIP, a facility lead, and facility construction. Pushed back by a whole five days, take that advance. So, I was mentioning, we have a little surprise here waiting for us. Um, that is, there was an update to one of the amalgamation classes, and a part of the update was it um, prevents certain class combinations. Like, because this class now has duplicates with another class, so these two classes cannot show up together. Which means uh, our wonderful Strawberry had completely lost her class. Uh, it was completely empty here, you couldn't assign any perks, etc. So the only way to fix that is to rebuild the soldier as a rebuild selected soldier um, command, console command, which just then randomly rerolls your class into any class combination that Amalgamation has to offer. Now initially I thought, hey, I, you know, can I get something close to her original class? So I re-rolled a few times, you know, in order to, to get some, it, it was just taken too long and everything. And then I just thought, okay, let's just, let's just stick with something that works, um, that we don't have too many of. And so we got another, um, what did I, what do we end up with? Sharpshooter Hollow. Yeah, we have Grenadier here. We'll probably then 
like it's it's one of the things I'm not a fan of with amalgamation where you have like two conflicting secondary weapons and you're like, oh, I, I guess, I guess we're never using a grenade launcher and we're just ignoring the middle row completely. Um, which I know I don't I don't think that is very interesting honestly, but it is what it is. Um. I guess technically you could, I don't know, take watch him run, throw a smoke grenade at your feet, and then you go into long watch. Uh, anyway, what I really want to test out a little bit is this whole Hollow Mirage, which I've been kind of ignoring. So you saw the targeter to conceal an ally, regaining concealment on somebody. I think that could come in really handy. handy. So we're going to pick that up. No long watch. And we're going to go to snapshot here. Now there is, I'm not sure if that's still as broken as it used to be, a snapshot death from above. If it is, I'm totally here for it. I'm not making any excuses. We're not holding back in this campaign. Playing with one, one high uh, hand tight behind my back, like I'm usually doing. Um, also, I don't think I've ever not noticed this travel light. Give up your secondary weapon for one mobility and an infiltration bonus. I wonder if that's new, if that was added at some point. Because for, like, any of the covert actions, where you don't expect an ambush, yeah, you know, reduce infiltration hours, fantastic. Uh, the positive side effect that I'm just going to take, and I'm just not going to question, is that re- rolling her class, healed her. She was kind of injured for five more days, now she's fully healed. I'm not going to tell anyone if you're not going to tell anyone, so she's available for the retaliation. Talking about the retaliation, it's waiting for us. It has like, what, one or two hours left on the timer, so I'm not even going to go to the Geoscape, because I'm just going to waffle on about something, and then the timer expires. Um, I'm going to put a cut in here, and between episodes, I'm going to click as fast as lightning on the mission, equip the squad, and I'll bring you in, well, at the start of next episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.